Well, on a previous video for my Bridgerton inspired tablescape for Mother's Day, I was interrupted and wasn't able to actually show you how I put everything together. And so I wanted to take a moment and just go through, show you some of the things that I thrifted, that I purchased, and that I already had in my home to accomplish the setting. I used a lot of florals to start the transformation in my formal dining room to take it to more of a Regency look by adding florals over the top of the doorway as you see here and then I also added some florals on top of and draped over my curtains there and these floral arrangements they're all faux I did get them at a great price from Michaels the garlands were 60% off so I certainly made sure that I had plenty to go all the way around the room to start with that part of the decoration. And then the gold candle holder with the mirror that you see there, I did thrift that item from Goodwill. And again, I thought that that gave it that Regency era look to it to help with that design. I've got the florals in the chinoiserie vases that I got from Ross and I've had those for a while now. And then uh, taking you down to the table real quick, just to show you that really cool, nice blue color with the silver and some bling and those are all of the different elements that i'm using as part of the actual table set that i'm doing and i'll show you that more a little bit later there's a good view of the full table with all of the china the glassware and the candle holder and then there is that gorgeous tea set five piece tea set that I did thrift from a secondhand store and that piece was actually the inspiration for my tablescape that I put together my Bridgerton inspired one for Mother's Day I do have a video that I'm going to link to this one I hope that you will go back and watch that I had a lot of fun doing that with my daughter um, so I use all of the elements here as part of the set design for the skit that my daughter and I did for Mother's Day. So um, hope you get a, a chance to take a look at that. Please do that. And so you'll see how I brought in more items with, um, I'm calling her my Christmas mommy. I dress her up for a lot of different occasions. And I wanted to add her and just drape her in one of the dresses for that somewhat time period to really give it more of that Regency feel within the dining room. A floor arrangement is added on the other corner of the dining room and the column that it's sitting on was also a thrifted item. The cello that my daughter played while she was in high school is on the opposite corner of the room. I expanded the back area of the wall by adding the mirror that I thrifted from Goodwill and it just really added a nice touch to it. I hung that over my floral print and then on each side of the floral print, I took a couple of canvas and I draped over some fabric and the rest is history on that. I've added another dress form to the back of the room just to give it a little bit more balance. Now I want to show you how I put the table setting together, starting with the beautiful embossed charger. To that, I am adding the blue garland design by Johan Haviland. I found this set at Goodwill and I was just totally shocked. I was able to find all of the pieces with the exception of the salad plate. The flatware with the gold beading really works well with all of the silver and gold accents that are on the table as well as being around the room. The glassware, I thrifted that too and I've had that for quite a while. Into the glass, I put in a napkin folding that I've done before, and then I just used that bling napkin ring to kind of clip it in there and hold it together. Now I'm gonna finish off by adding the saucer and the teacup to complete this table setting.
and that's how everything looks i love the blue colors nice and cool the table runner and the tablecloth i picked up both of those at home goods and so they really added a nice touch with the layering but i have to tell you the star of this table for me is this five piece um tea set that I thrifted um, from a secondhand store in 2023 just to give you an idea of just how long I have been working on everything to find the pieces to curate everything to come up with my Regency style table for my Bridgerton inspired Mother's Day tablescape for you so I hope that you enjoy it this has just been a thrill and a joy for me to do I hope that you like my channel and certainly please subscribe to my channel and come back for more. I have so many other things that I'd like to share with you. And I want to say to you, as you enjoy your Mother's Day with your friends and your family, that whatever you do and wherever you go, be blessed. <music>